Miss Universe. Well, she will have to be uh, uniquely beautiful. She'll have to be brave and confident. Also, uh, that woman will have to be uh, an inspiration to all of the girls that are looking up to her. How involved are you in the participants for this year's Miss Universe Philippines? How are you guiding them into um, the competition? Well, as Sir Walter mentioned, uh, I became the standard of um, how the girls in the pageant should be mentally prepared for the competition because beauty pageants are not just a, a physical competition, but it's also a mental competition. Mm -hmm. and. Uh, Sir Walter mentioned that, she, that he always um, made me an example to all of those girls, especially in this day and age of social media. Mm -hmm. uh, well, my advice to all of those girls is just to really focus on themselves. They know themselves better than the people who are um, judging them in social media. Mm -hmm. So I'm very confident that the girls this year, they're equally brave and beautiful and very intelligent. And I'm very proud of them. Okay. So compared to your stint last year that you were in the competition, how different is this year's competition? Well, first they now have an audience, yeah. uh, so it's very different um, the feeling of competing and seeing your loved ones and your supporters mm -hmm. live um, while you're on stage. And it's very exciting that they get to experience face-to-face -face activities as well. And I guess it really helps when you uh, compete internationally. It will be different. It, it won't be. It won't always be locked down. So I guess doing a face-to-face -face competition this year will really help the girls boost their confidence and get more exposure. So. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Like uh, being with Francis, uh, being Francis Liberian's muse for Miss Universe. I'm definitely very grateful to Sir Francis that when I learned and when he learned that we will be working together to create my gown for Miss Universe, he contacted me and asked me what my personal preferences were uh, because of, of course he needs to consider that um, when he needs um, to take inspiration in making all of these gowns. So I'm very grateful that Sister Francis is, um, wants me to cooperate in, in making uh, these gowns. It's a, it's a team effort, uh, not just between me and Sir Francis, but also to the entire Miss Universe Philippines organization. So, naging easy yung work namin, kasi nagtutulungan kami. And did, you, uh, did your experience with the crown live up to your expect expectations for it? Yes, definitely. Uh, I thought that it was just going to be the usual um, beauty queen work, uh, going around places, meeting people, but it became a learning experience for me. And I learned a lot about myself and the people that I'm with. So I'm very grateful for the crown and what the crown brought into my life. So what's one experience uh, as Miss you stood out for you? One experience that really stood out for me was that when we went to Israel, it was um, when Omicron broke out and we were worried. Uh, we've been in uncertain situations for the past two years, but you know, with those uncertainties, I, I met a lot of people who helped me cope through those challenges. And those people are um, the people I've worked with in Miss Universe Philippines, the Miss Universe organization, and the girls as well. I learned that in life, um, uncertainties will not really bring you down easily. If you are capable of opening yourself up to other people, Perfect. So, final question. So, what's your favorite piece from the universe? <laughs> That's a tough choice. Um, my favorite piece is um, all of these dresses, but my most favorite one is the gold gown, which is behind you, the one I wore for the finals, because it really represented me as a person. Uh, I always believe that an empowered woman is like gold. And 
she is capable of taking me shape no matter what um, challenges that she goes through, just like me. Perfect. Again, salamat. Again, salamat. Thank you.